Ha! Happy Mutitigo! Nasa! Hey! Wadia, why am I me? I don't soon. Onya me fata. Good morning. Aye, aye, I'm going to let you. Malalabasia. Mama, yes, Lord. Let us. Yes, Lord. Mama, me want parent. Yes, Lord. Let us. Hey, let's worship him this morning. La 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 basia. Yes, Lord. Kata la la basi tele le basha. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning, family. Hey! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let's worship him. Yes, worship him. Yes, Onyame fata aye Yes Lord from the ancient of days he was still God Hey Asha la 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 basia uyo nyame oda su ye Hey la 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 basia Yes Lord in Jesus name Kalalaba sotolobosia. Hey, Titi Bremu. From the ancient of days, before time was, he was God. Hey, Basha. Lalalabasia. In Jesus' name. Oh, da. So, yeah. Your God, Father, this morning. Your God, we worship you and we thank you, Lord. We bless your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Basha talalabasia. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Basha. Power of God is on this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Kalalabasia. In the mighty name of Jesus. Woman of God. Labrasutorobosia. Sister Emmanuel. I owe you a phone call. In Jesus' name. Hey. Basha, lalaba, sikelele basa. Let's bring in the presence of the Lord this morning. Baso tololo bosia. In he 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 inhabits when we praise, when we call on His name. Oh, that so yeah. We, hey, ya 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 basia. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for another week. Father God, baso tololo bosia. Lalaba sikelele basha. This morning we hey Nanabasho. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. He is God. He is the God of all flesh. This morning. He is the God of all flesh. Elevate your thoughts. In Jesus' name. Elevate your thoughts. You know, there's a scripture that says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Now I have a problem with that text because it says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. See that word there, magnify. How are you going to magnify a God who is bigger than that word magnify? Because listen, if you ever did biology in school, when it comes to using a microscope, see, magnification, all it is, is you take something that the physical eye can't see. You place it under a, a, a you know, a, a, you know, a, a, a microscope and you know you just keep on changing the magnification you know the 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 different sizes to try and look at the same thing but watch this now from a different view to see something watch this now that is already there 
but your physical eyes can't see it. Oh, magnify the Lord. He is bigger than big. He is bigger than that word magnify. That's who he is. He is bigger than that word magnify. It's a, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Lift him up. Lift him up. Elevate your thought. Elevate your perception or your thinking of who God is. Elevate it. Take it to another realm. Because let me tell you something. The day that you realize that he is the God of all flesh, that's when you will know that he is real in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Ambrose, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the bright and the morning star. He is the king of kings. Hey! Basha. He is awesome. He is awesome. He is awesome. This morning I just come to let somebody know that the king of kings and the lord of lords, he is the god of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for him. There is absolutely nothing that he can't do. So you need to get into that place where you can elevate your thoughts and you can think of him for what he is and for what, for, for what he is getting ready to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's get ready, okay? Every now and again, I just want to lay a foundation because sometimes people can just forget because of the issue or the situation that you're going through. You can just forget who he is. Get your timers ready. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get your timers ready. In Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name. Father, we lift you up. Father, we magnify you this morning. Ah, la la ba in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, I bless your name. Father, I bless your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we lift you up. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we bless your name. We bless your name. We magnify your name. In Jesus' precious name. Father, we thank you. La brosa tala la basia. Lili li bondi li libiasa. La 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 basu tolo bosia. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get your timers ready, okay? In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. I know it's seven minutes. Let's go for this. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 11 says, Clap your hands. Stamp your feet and declare. And now that you have learned or you have magnified, watch this now, his name, uh, above every other name. This is now the time for you to declare that which you need to see. Declare what you need this week to be. Declare what you need to see in your house in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen, let's go. No typing. Okay, hey, listen, and I'm going to say something. You know, somebody can say, follow me. Why do you want people to follow you? We're here to pray. Okay, we're here to pray. You don't ask for people to follow you. We're here to pray. You know, same things, you know, I've been seeing over the last couple of days, you know, and it, it, it irks me. I keep quiet. Don't get nobody. We're here to pray for seven minutes. That's what this platform is for. You don't need nobody to follow you. All you need is Jesus Christ. Come on. For the next seven minutes. Come on. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Go for it. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God, this is the day that, Father God, you have made. And, Father God, we have declared that, God, we will be glad in it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, 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 there is no other name, there is no other power, there is no other voice. God, we drown out every other voice. Father, we drown out every other voice. Father, we drown out every other voice. Clap your hands and stomp your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. And declare, no typing, no typing. Clap, 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 clap. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, let today be a great day. Let today be a wonderful day. Let today be a unique day. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Father, we need you to move. Father, we need you to move. Father, we need the heavens to move. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, no more will the enemy dominate us. No more will the enemy dominate us. No more will the enemy dominate us. 
no more will the enemy dominate us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more will the enemy dominate us. We come against every domination of the wicked one. In the mighty name of Jesus this morning. We declare freedom. We declare freedom. We declare freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus. Clap those hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come, we come because you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We come because you are God, our Savior this morning. And so, Father God, we commit this day to you, God. We commit this day to you, God. We commit this day to you, God. Father God, hear our cry. Father, hear our cry. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Lord, let your spirit be revealed. And let your power be revealed. In the name of Jesus, there is no other voice. There is no other power. There is no other name. It is at the mention of the name Jesus Christ that every knee must bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. There is glory, Father God, when your name is mentioned. There is power when your name is mentioned. Father, I thank you, Holy Ghost. I thank you, Holy Ghost. I thank you, Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, all power belongs to you this morning. In the name of Jesus, God, as we drown out and we drive out that which is not God. Father God, we thank you, God. We bless your name this morning. People of God, come and clap those hands. Clap those hands in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we take control. Father, we take control. Father, we take control. Father, we take control. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Let your name be lifted up. Let your name be lifted up. Let your name be lifted up. Let your name be lifted up this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Let your name be lifted up. Let your name be lifted up. Father, we present all the cases of prayer mantle before you, God. This morning, God, we bring prayer mantle before you, God. Every issue, Father God. Every case, Father God. Every issue, God, we call your name, Father God, and we lift up your name, God. As we present these cases, we say that there is a name that is above all names. There is a name that is above all names. And that name is superior. That name is superior. That name is superior. Lord, let your name be lifted up, God, right now. We call upon your name. We call upon your name. We call upon your name. And let your name be lifted up by the finger of God. We bring every issue before you, God. We bring it before you in Jesus' name. We call your name because, Father, we know that when we call upon your name, we shall be saved. So, Father, we call upon your name. Holy Ghost, we call upon you now. Come and show up in Jesus' name. Come and show up in Jesus' name. Show up and Father God destroy. Show up and eliminate the demonic. In the mighty name of Jesus, by your finger, God. In the name of Jesus, by your power, God. We destroy what the enemy seeks to do in this season. We destroy what the enemy seeks to do in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is a blessed week. This is a day of victory. This is a day of power. This is a day that, Father God, the enemy will not be able, Father God, to prevail against us in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, take control. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, we call upon your name. We call upon your power. We call upon your strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are the only one who can do it. God, we declare this morning that nobody will be lost prematurely. Nobody will die prematurely. Nobody will have an accident. Nobody will be eliminated in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, the enemy will not prevail, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus, nobody will be a target for the enemy, 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 you will not be a target for the demonic, you will not be a target for the principalities, you will not be a power, you will not be a target, you will not be a target, you will not be a target, we rain down fire on the demonic, we rain down fire upon the evil one, we rain down fire upon the demonic, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus this morning, we rain down fire, 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 we destroy, we command every spirit that has been assigned to the people of God, we destroy your power and your territory in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father we bless your name and we thank you God, in Jesus, ha, basha, in Jesus name, ha, in the name of Jesus God we bless your name, la 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 basha, in Jesus name, in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, somebody just put something up to say, you know, obey and, you know, don't tell. Let me tell you something. When it comes to spiritual warfare, okay, see, you have to follow simple instructions. That's all. reason why a lot of you don't have the victory is because you can't follow simple instructions. See, I see some people, if I say something, they come up with their own revelation. It don't bother me. You see, it don't bother me because you're the one that is, you know, hurting yourself. When it comes to spiritual warfare, see, you know, Pastor Ben Hinn would teach this. You know, you go to his meetings and, you know, uh, you know, you start going crazy, speaking in tongues and all that kind of stuff. He would say, hey, 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 at this present moment in time, God is only speaking to one person, and that's me. You know, and he will even get, if you've ever been to his meeting, he will get you ushered out. I've seen, you know, I've seen it. You know, he, he will get you ushered out. See, we need to understand the order in the body of Christ. That is the issue that we have because not everybody feels like they, have, they, 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 are, they are a voice and they can talk. You see what I'm saying? They feel like they can talk. You know, I can talk too. You know, I'm also a prophet. I'm also this. Listen, God has appointed people, men, women, in this specific season to handle certain facets of the body of Christ. God has given them the revelation to bring his people to a place whether it's correction, whether it's deliverance, whether it is, you know, just teaching. See, God is, God is the one who's appointed these men and these women of God. So let me tell you something. When you go on somebody's platform, right, and it is what you're looking for, all you do is you just sit back, you listen. You take in what they're saying. If it lines up with the word of God, you take it in. If it doesn't and you feel like it doesn't, you move on. That's all that it is. You see what I'm saying? So you're saying to somebody, type. See, God says to the children of Israel, when they were dealing with Pharaoh and they left Egypt and the enemy came against them. See, God now said, hey, listen, I don't need you to turn around and throw arrows or stones at the Egyptian army. You, all you got to do is just keep on walking, just keep going forward. Do you see what I'm saying? You keep going forward because watch this now. When it comes to this fight, I, God, I'm going to stretch my hands from heaven. And I'm going to come into the sea that has been departed. That, you know, that has been parted, sorry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hands. And I'm going to operate as a mechanic. And I'm going to take out the bolts, you know, the bolts of the wheels of the chariots. And I'm going to utterly destroy the Egyptian army. Now imagine if the children of Israel on their way decided to turn around and fight the Egyptian army. Do you, know, do you know what would have happened? The Egyptian army would have prevailed against them. And they would not be able to say that God didn't come through for them. See, spiritual warfare, you see, if you don't have the revelation, you don't have the experience, all you do is just shut your mouth. And I'm not being rude, you know, just shut your mouth. Listen, listen to the person who has the understanding. Listen to the person who knows how to operate in that realm. If you feel like you know too much, move along. 
This is what I'm saying. This is the problem that we have. Everybody, the chaos that we're seeing within the everybody has made themselves an authority or a voice. You want to teach somebody something? You want to show? You want to show people? I've been, you know, I, you know. Listen, you know, until I came when I started traveling, Prophet Car. See, selling stuff, you feel like, oh, you know, all this demonic stuff. You know, it's only, you know, it happens in the African churches, that type of thing. I was in Memphis. I was in Memphis with Prophet Khan. I saw a young lady literally suspended in the air. I was in Memphis. I was in Jackson, Mississippi. A woman that we were doing deliverance on turned around and slapped me in the church. Now I ain't talking about no small stuff. She literally, she, she pow, she slapped me in Jackson, Mississippi. You would think that some of this stuff is only confined to a certain culture. Or to a certain people. Being to big platforms. When we show up, the demonic comes out of people. Ministers, people that you would never imagine. You know, I'll show you something. You know, I was in uh, one of these Caribbean islands. You know, I have a very nice watch. You know, look, this watch, right? I don't know if you can see. You see how it's ripped? It wasn't me that ripped it. Do you know what happened? A young girl, very small. When the demonic came upon her when we were praying. Listen. She became so strong that the watch that I had on, she ripped the watch off. Young girl, couldn't be more than 16, 17 years old, very small. So when you don't have that experience or that revelation, please keep your mouth shut. Okay? Keep your mouth shut. See, I'm not scared. I, mean, I say to Sister Mary, I love warfare because that's what I've been called to do. So I study, you know, I'll listen to people like, you know, Apostle Kim Daniels. I'll listen to people like Apostle John Eckhart. You know why? Because they've gone ahead of me. See, they are experts in that field. So when I meet them, I keep my mouth shut and I listen to them. That's what I'm saying. Keep my mouth shut and I listen to them. Because they've gone ahead of me. They have experience. They can tell you stories. They can tell you what they've seen. They can teach you some stuff. All some of you have to do this season, just keep your mouth shut. Some of you, your biggest problem is your mouth. You talk when you've not been asked to talk. I know I'm delivering somebody. Somebody's getting mad right now. You talk when you've not been asked to talk. Some of you all need to say, God, deliver me from my mouth. I talk too much. Hey! I talk too much. That's the problem with a lot of us. We talk too much. So if you're not ex, you're not, you're not, you know, you're not an expert in a field. Keep your mouth shut. Listen to those who are in that area of it, you know, and have the expertise and the revelation. You study under their feet. You pick up what you need to pick up, and you run along with it. So this morning, hey, Basha, la 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 Basia, you know, and I, you know, I let things go, but after a while, it just keeps. I'm like, Lord, let me handle this. Let me handle this. That's the problem, you know. Sometimes even the emails that people will send, sometimes I would just system as a sister Mary, let me respond to this email, and I say, hey, this is Prophet Albert talking. Don't send me that kind of messages. That's rude. See, you have to respect. You see, listen, let me tell you something. You know, and people don't, you know, people don't understand this thing. See, even if the person in authority, okay, is wrong. See, because God has given them that position. See, even in, 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 in the system of this world that we live in, if you really understand warfare, like a natural warfare, you know, most of the time, all these conspiracy stuff that you will hear. And somebody needs to hear this. So, like, for instance, you know, some people will say that, you know, when that 9-11 happened, one of the planes was blown up by, you know, uh, 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 the FBI or the CIA or whatever. Whatever the conspiracy is. See, they will tell you that it is, in the case of what they're dealing with, it is better for 300 people, let's just say, to die in the air plane, you know, plane, than for millions of people in a city for the plane to be allowed to crash into you know, the city, watch this now, and kill millions of people. 
See, they look at it on that perspective. They're not looking at it like, oh, then you know, there's no emotional attachment. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to God, see, the leader can be sincerely wrong. The leader can be sincerely wrong. But watch this now. God is concerned about the thousands of people who follow that leader. That if that leader falls, the sheep are going to scatter. So God will cover that leader for as long as it's necessary to get the people over. See, that's what God did to Moses. The things that Moses was doing, not all of them was God. So God said, hold on a minute, you've gone too far now. I tell you to do something, you do it the other way. Guess what? You're not going to go into the promised land. All you got, all you're going to do is I'm just going to show it to you. you. You will never step in there. As long as I'm alive, you will never step into the promised land. You see what I'm saying? So God is obligated because God is concerned about the sheep. And God will give the leader enough time. Get it right, sir. Get it right, woman of God. Get it right, man of God. What? Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. That's what God will do. You're there criticizing about the man or the woman of God. And God is saying, listen, all I want, because God is concerned. See, because a lot of us, we want people to fall to justify ourselves. See, I told you. I told that person what was happening. You're not concerned about those who are connected to that ministry who will now turn and have nowhere to go. And it's not because all of them are following idols. It's simply because they watch you. They watch the leader. That leader is the standard or is what they know. Okay, until they get into a place where they can walk with God themselves. It's like a baby, a child. All the baby knows the father or the mother or the close people around. We we'll imitate, we we'll look at what the father or the mother is doing and we'll copy it until they get to an age where they can walk on their own. Okay, so, you know, I, I keep saying this, learn to keep your mouth shut. Because how you see things it's not how God sees it. I keep saying this to you. How you and I view things, that's not how God sees it. We say, listen, that fire that the three Hebrew boys went through, that fire was never designed to burn them. That fire was designed or that fire or that issue was brought up by God to teach fire that there are some people you simply cannot burn. We look at them and say they went into slavery. What God said in the book of Jeremiah, I put them through the iron furnace. You know why? Because a furnace will process and will purify. And when you go through the process of purification, anything on the inside of you, that is a mess. The purification process will draw it out of you. So that when you come to your place of blessing, which is now, you will not mishandle the blessing. Listen, people of God, you, 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 your, your mind needs to be renewed. Learn to keep your mouth shut. See all of this stuff that we're seeing on TV? Whether preachers of LA, preachers of, 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 of Timbuktu, preachers of, 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 of the White House, preachers of wherever. Let me tell you something. God allows certain situations to happen for revelation. Listen to this. God allows situations to happen for revelation. God will allow it to happen for revelation so sometimes you just sit back shut your mouth come off all that talk on social media and you say mm, god i'll wait i'll wait for you to show me speak master speak for your servant hears auntie susan that's all master speak for your servant hears because god is the one that allows it ultimately if you look in the fabric of the text from the Genesis to the Revelation, whatever happens doesn't take God by surprise. It might take you and I by surprise, but it never takes God by surprise. God is the one that allows it to happen. Learn to keep this mouth shut. You know, somebody, you know, somebody once said, you know, there's a reason why God gave us two eyes, you know, two nostrils and two ears by one mouth. So learn. Shh. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody comes to tell you something, like, mm, oh, okay, mm, I didn't know that, let's just pray for them. End of story. See, because that is what happened to that man. See that pastor, that priest in the old, in the New Testament, you know, by the name of Zacharias, the angel came to him 
angel will come to him with some excitement and say, hey, guess what? I know you've been praying about this for too long and you've probably given up about it. Guess what? Your wife is about to get pregnant. He said, oh, are you trying to insult me? How can this be possible? He said, listen, if I'm not careful, if I'm not careful, this is what you're going to do. You're going to mess up the master plan of God. So guess what I'm going to do? Your mouth is going to be... You ain't going to be able to say a word until that baby comes out of the womb. Because this thing that we're, we're, this thing that I've been sent to talk to you about, you think is about you. It ain't about you. The master is about to come. The ancient of days is about to be made manifest in the flesh. So let me tell you something. I'm not going to allow you to prevent that. So guess what? You can't say a word. You will not be able to say nothing. Your mouth is about, your tongue is about to cleave to the top of your lip. And you're going to be like that. Mm. You're going to be dumb until that baby comes out of the womb. That's all. And some of you, that's what God is saying to you in this season. 2016. God bless you. You know I don't hold my tongue. You know I just come to help you. I love you all. But you know I want to get them demons out of you. You know out of all of us. You know we need to get delivered. Okay. Basha. La la ba. Doc, Dr. Simmons is on the way. It's coming. It's, it's been posted. I think it was posted yesterday. So give it about three, four days. Okay. You will get it. I promise you. You know. I, you know. I just like to tell the truth. You know. I need people to tell me the truth. Okay. So that you know. Uh, uh, you know. Uh. You know, we will get to the other side in Jesus' name. I love you. I'm praying for you. Let's keep let's keep pushing. Okay? Let's keep pushing to the price of the higher court. Hey, Basha. Yes, Lord. God bless you. God bless you. We're gonna have it. Listen, tonight, I'm gonna I, somebody asked me, how do you pray targeted prayers? Like for I'm gonna show you something, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something tonight, which is gonna bless you. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you how the enemy operates, how the enemy targets specific people. Love from Trinidad. God bless you all the way in Trinidad. So I'm going to come to, and I'm excited about that word. It's going to be a blessing to you. Hey, Basha, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I'm going to show you something. It will blow your mind. You know, it's, it's in my spirit. Like, you know, when I say, I know God is speaking to me about it because I wake up and it's there. Okay, so God is God is teaching me that. So I'm going to show you something. It's going to blow your mind. Hey, Allah So God bless you. Go have a blessed day. Tonight is at 8 p.m. Right? 8 p.m. EST. That's about 1 a.m. my time. But it's 8 p.m. EST. Okay. God bless you. La 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 So Go have a blessed day. You know, bless somebody today. Okay. Be a blessing to somebody today. God bless you. See you tonight. Goodbye.